Hey everyone, this is Bremster. And this is Virtual. And today we are coming to you with a puzzle called The Snake Whisperer. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why this is happening. Um, so yeah, over here I have Virtual, but um, on my screen he's over here. So if I'm looking over here while he's over here, that's because that's where he is on my screen. Um, but you see him over here. In reality, he's somewhere down there, I think. Um, because other side of a big globe or spheroid type thing that we live on. Um, yeah, something we like that. Spheroid? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. At some point, the magnetic poles will shift and every piece of technology will fail and, you know, it'll be fun. Um, so... <laughs> Great for YouTube is that one. So um, the reason this is happening is um, the Snake Whisperer, which is the puzzle we're doing, um, was a puzzle um, by DJV, is a puzzle that was submitted to me um, and I sent it off for, for testing. And I think it was one of the other testers um, came back and went, oh, this is a tricky. Um, and then I tried to solve it and couldn't. And then Virtual jumped in and went, oh, this is beautiful. And I still couldn't solve it. So this is not a blind solve. I have tried to solve this before and couldn't do it. Virtual has solved this before. And I'm looking forward to finding out where the beauty in this puzzle is. Because I, I actually could not solve it. So um, the plan now is for uh, me to rely heavily on Virtual, one of my testers, um, to be able to present this puzzle to you. Um, so uh, rather than just have it disappear into the void. Um, so and My intent is to hang back and let Bremster do the majority of the discovery and as needed and where there's really beautiful logic that I found in my test solve will elaborate on that I, I i'm going to be relying pretty heavily on you i think because yeah we'll see how we go so we shall indeed see how it goes um i'm not going to worry about other stuff happening on the channel there is some stuff coming up um but uh you'll find out about that starting tomorrow so uh, let's have a look at this one the snake whisperer by djv presented by brimster and virtual um so yeah uh, this is fun. I've been meaning to do, pardon me, more collabs, and uh, it's just been coordinating them with people on the other side of the planet is tricky. So um, I think it's taken us four days to set this up. Somewhere around that, yeah. yeah. We started <laughs> scheduling it and then figuring out what day we were talking about it and then figuring out what time on what day we were talking about it. Yeah, because I'm time zones. Yeah, All I'm on a zones. I'm in a different day to you. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You, how are things tomorrow? It's, tomorrow has been good so far. So yeah. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Anyway, um, so how does this one work? Normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have killer cages. So digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Digits may not repeat within cages. Then we have the snake rule, which is the bit that completely broke my mind. There is a one cell wide snake composed of orthogonally connected cells that starts and ends in the green circles. Uh, the snake may not... I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Uh, Neither do I, but I'm hearing a little bit of that audio occasionally while you're talking. Oh, well, um, I think my wife is printing something. I hope she doesn't come in for it. That would be bad. Um, the snake may not touch itself, even diagonally. So it, I'm assuming this is allowed and that's not touching itself diagonally. Um, I'm assuming what that means is the snake couldn't do something like, uh, like uh, that. That would be a diagonal touch. Um, I agree. The snake must visit every three by three box. So it's going to reach into every one of these nine boxes. Um, the digits along the length of the snake are German wisp uh, or a German whisper line. So um, as we draw the snake, it will have to follow the properties of a German whisper line, which means that every adjacent cell must have a difference of at least five. Um, and we um, the only other thing we're given is this brown diamond is not on the snake. So they're the rules of the puzzle. Um, yeah. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart the timer. 
Let's give this a shot. Indeed, so indeed. There are some discoveries I made, and I'm try I don't remember what they were. It was about a week over a week ago since I last tried this. So I'm coming at this box quick. five. Box there is stuff in box five. That's really cool. So let's look at that. So this is twelve, this is twenty one. Add those together, you get thirty three. Add another eleven, you get forty four. So this is a one. That math holds up, doesn't it? Um, so this is, so. this is an 11 cage, which is one, two, three, and five. So this is a two, three, five, triple 14 is not, oh no, this is limited by that because the only way to make 14 is nine, five or six, eight, and I don't have a five. So this is a six, eight. One is in one of those two because the one. You never put a one in a three cell 19 cage. Uh, because the other two cells would have to some oh, okay wow okay so and this is actually a triple so one two three four five six four seven and nine so we're actually getting some stuff so if this is four um if this is four seven this would be hang on i need to get to 19 so if, four seven is well, 11 if, if this is nine eight, this is more. six or three if this is seven, I need to get to 12. So this would be, hang on. Or seven, eight, I think would do it. So if this is nine, this is three or six. Maybe there's too many options here. I think there's only three total possibilities for row three, column one. Yeah, because yes, there is. So four... Right, yeah, because four, seven four needs, seven eight. needs eight, and the others use nine and need a three or a six. So this is three, six, or eight. Yep. Now, I can't use a one in this 12 cage. Which I think is giving me a four, seven virtual pair, but it's not doing Sounds anything. Sounds right, but I don't think it's useful yet. No. Now this 14, uh, no. Not enough info on that one yet, I think. I think we might have to start thinking about snakes. Snakes. So this is the start of a snake. And we know this ca therefore cannot be a five. So it's got to be a high digit because a 22 cage, if I put a four in it, the other two would have to sum to 18 and that's not going to work. So this is a high digit and on a snake. So this has to come to this cell or this cell, but whichever one it goes to because of the nature of a German whisper line can never have a five on it and it cannot move to another high digit because of the five difference. Anything that is a high digit must leapfrog the five to go the high-low alternating polarity. If you grab any high digit and make it five different, you are going to jump to low. If you grab any low digit and jump five, you're going to jump to high. So it has to jump to a low digit, but you cannot put a low digit in a 22 cage. So this has to go to here, which makes it, let's use a green line, which makes it the next line on the snake. From that, because we know where the end is, we can also mark cells that are not possible to be on the snake. Row two, column one can never be on the snake at this point. Because then it would touch. So let's use gray for that. Well, we're at it. We might as well mark the uh, diamond in box eight because we'll need to eventually. Right. Yep. So that can never be on the snake. We know this is on the snake, but it could be high or low at this point. Actually, no. We know whether it's high or low. We do. Uh, so it's an orthogonal German whisper line. So oh, if you draw a checkerboard, right, right, right. I did eventually every discover other this. cell gets right. higher low. Right. Okay. Let me try and figure out how to explain this. I did discover this. It took me a long time, though. So if we draw any orthogonal line in the grid, and I'm just making one up here. So I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to draw an orthogonal line, which is basically, it doesn't matter what line I draw. Um, I'm just drawing a random line in the grid at this point. Uh, that's not legal, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters for this. Not in the slightest, the so logic holds. If we do this, not a legal snake, 
kind of deliberate, but not really. Then one of the things you will notice is every, whoops, get out of this mode. Every second cell along this line, wherever path it takes, if I highlight every second cell along this line, those lines are always on a diagonal from each other. And that's simply because of their alternating um, nature. So if you were to split this grid like a chessboard, um, these, um, it's often called, I think, is a, a bishop's move. Um, what this means is every single high digit on the line must be um, on the same diagonal striping as um, the others and the similar with the lows. And that's simply because it's an orthogonally connected line. Um, I, I'm not, I don't feel I'm explaining this well, but hopefully the example presents that. Um, it, and it doesn't matter how I drew this line, this was random, um, it will always be the case that every second cell, because of the orthogonal nature, is, have, is going to have to leave and then jump back onto a diagonal, leave and jump back onto the diagonal. Um, and therefore, what we can do is I can undo all of the line. I can turn around and say this is on the same diagonal path as the um, as the original high cell. So the and it, we know it's on the snake, so it must be high. That's that's cool. So this must be low. Don't know if it's on the snake or yeah. not, but it must be low. That also tells us another very useful piece of information. Uh, since the high diagonal is right on that main diagonal, row one, column one, row two, column two, row three, column three, row four, column four, the yeah. one in box five may not be on the snake. Oh, right. So this may not be on the snake. And the low digit diagonal from that. That can't be on the that snake can never either. Be on the snake. And then the high digit right below that can never be on the snake. And that can't be on the snake because, right, because if that was on the snake, then it would be off the diagonal. So that's not on the snake. That's really cool. That is a really awesome, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, property of an orthogonal German whisperer snake. But hang on a minute. It's... I don't think I found this like anywhere near like this quickly. Or at all, I'm not sure. Um, but how are we now going to pick up a snake in this box? Oh, yeah. That's a great question. Because we can't come this way. Right. Snake cell has to come in. But we have to touch this box. It's going to have to cross the line between box one and box four, and then the line between box four and box seven. There's no other way to draw it that doesn't do that. Because it can't come in and come out again. Like, it could if that wasn't... Right. ...gray. And similarly here, it can't come in and come out again. So there's... It has to pass through. Yeah. The snake connectivity is a really interesting concept in this one. But it could do something like that. Right. To pick right. Up we don't this quite box. know how it goes into box four yet. We just know that it has to come through box one to get there. I'm wondering if there's more killer we can do. We know both of these are high. Which means we know the corner cell cannot be in the snake, because... Actually, we know both cells can't be on the snake, because yeah. the corner is the high snake digit. So if this was on the snake, this would be low. It would be It'd high have to, to get it. It'd be high to high, and that wouldn't work. So that's not on the snake. And this can't be on the snake, because it's not on the diagonal. That's cool. Yeah. There's some really interesting interplay there. So, this 12, yeah, can't have a 1, 
What are the possibilities for that for that twenty two? I know that I know that twenty two and three. This uh, the twenty two in box in box one. So five eight nine or six seven nine. So there is a nine in here, which puts a nine sure. down here. Oh. Because these nines cool. are lining up. But I could put a nine in a thirty cage, or this could be nine five. Right. Both of those seem possible. Seems like both of us have forgotten this. So I can't so put one six question. On, I can't put one six oh, or yeah. eight in this. So there is a three in the twelve cage. Useful. It's not huge just yet, but and that is this definitely good. This 20 cage is also really limited. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place, but I just realized we've all got right. three high digits in this column. Right, so it can have a maximum of one, one in high that digit. column, but it could have one in column Oh, it eight. could have one in column eight. This has got to have a five, six, seven, eight, or nine in it. Right. So if we count five, six, seven, eight, or nine, this could only have two of five, six, seven, eight, or nine, but that's not limiting. Okay. Not just yet. I'm not seeing the, the restriction there. What about the other 12 cage, the one in column one? You, you mentioned something about a virtual pair in there? Well... It must have a four or a seven in it, and this must have a four or a seven in it. Hang on, but that means this must have a nine in it. If it has to have a four and a seven, yeah, that places that that forces a nine into the Because this is either two three seven, two four six, or three four five. Because I right. don't have access to a one. So this so can't be four that. seven. There must be a nine in here. There's no nine here. This is the nine. Nice. That doesn't... places a five. Or no, that doesn't place a five. But it means there is a nine for the twenty-two. But hang on, just let me eliminate something from here because nine four. Oh yes. Nine four. That takes the eight out. It took the eight out. So this was what was it? It was three. Yeah, there's no eight here anymore. This is three or six. So this is nine five eight or nine six seven. Hang on, does that conflict with this? No, because six means this is four nine, and that's fine. Right. So, what were you looking at? What What were you just asking about? Well, we can we can pencil mark row one, column one. Then we've got nine five eight. So this so we is put an eight in the corner, and then the next cell down is uh, five six seven, row two. Why is that not eight? Er. So if it's 958, the 5 can't be on the snake. Right. Yeah. Right. So that puts so a 2 in the 12 cage. Six, we've got a 4-7 pair in the column, the virtual pair. So it can't be 6-7 in the, in the 22. The 22 is known. Because if this is... We've got a 4-7. This can't be six seven. This is five eight, and we know the order. This is five and eight, and this therefore can't have five in it. And it, right, which has just proven. Yeah, and it must have a two in it. Now I'm seeing more snake logic. So we know this is high. We don't know it's on the snake yet. It no. could be. If the snake... But this has to come down. So right. So if, if it went high, low, high, these would be six and seven. This would be the six, one, seven. Well, it couldn't be six. Why couldn't that be six? Six would require a one on both sides. But I couldn't put six here because it'd be jumping to a two. So, so it can't go. It might go all the way out out of the box. Oh, it could do this, couldn't it? And then do something and come back. So seven, 
to two eight, hang on seven four, two something eight. then this would be low this would but this would have to be high again whichever right. way you do that these are both high and that doesn't work right because these would be six seven oh right and one way or another you'd have the snake going through a six and a seven and this would be the seven this would be the six and whether it goes that way or that way this has to see two ones but the snake can't enter uh, column three in box one. And there row one, column three, that is. Yeah, it, it just can't do it. This has to come down. This is tricky. Very. That grades row one, column three. Because the snake can't touch itself. And now there's some tricky snake logic in row three, column one. If that's on the snake, it's high. Where does it go? And it's six. And it would need a one on both sides, and it can't have. It can't yeah. have that. So that's a three. Uh, no, we know it's not on the snake. That's not on the snake. It's not on the snake. Is all we know. It's not on the snake. But we figured out that the snake has to pass through box four. Right. So row four, column two, is on the snake. Because this is the only way in. And it must be and high. It's high. Because of the diagonal rule. Oh, Lord. So that's a seven. There's no seven in here. This is a four nine K, which is 13, which means this is a six. And now the 12 at the bottom is known. But beyond that, I just noticed something. So this is two, three, seven. But this has to come straight down. Because oh. if it did that, those would both be two. Right. German whisper logic. By whisper logic, the seven can only touch the one or the two. So this has to come straight down. I can't enter this cell because then when I enter here, where's it going to go? Right. It runs out of options. It runs out of options. So I have to do that because if I come in here, I'm doomed. I'm trapped. So this can't be on yeah. the snake, which means the snake has to come out this way. It can't touch itself, so it can't loop or anything. So it has to connect up. This now and can't go to, to the four down. nine. It has to keep going down. Yeah, I would never have found half of, of this stuff without of you. This becomes blue, but similarly, it's whisper with a seven. So this is a two. Ah, why is my keyboard stopped working? This is a two. This has to be in a whisper with seven, which means it's one or two, and it's not two. It's one, which means it's blue. These now can't be on the snake. These can't be on the snake. Uh, I don't know that about row five, column one. Row five, column one. Oh, no, that one could be. be. That one could be. But row one, column two is now forced. Row one, column two... Oh, it's three because it has to see both the eight and the nine, which gives me a triple, us, us a triple, two, four, seven, which means there's no two here, which I got from that, but I wasn't paying attention. We can do a little bit more cleanup in box one. 12 cage can't have a two in it. 12 cage, no, it cannot. So four, seven means five and four means eight. This is a five or an eight. I just noticed something sneaky in box five. Just a very slight, quick tangent. Yeah. Uh, in column four, we've got a two-cell cul-de-sac thing. If the snake goes into it, it can't leave. It'll touch itself. That's very clever. So the snake is going to have to come out through one of these. Right. Okay. Can that be on the snake? No. No, it can't. I think it can. No. I think it, I think it can. No, it can't. It would have to be a seven. At which point, where does it go? Oh, it could go down. It could go down one more. Yeah, okay, it can. I think, I think a better question is, can the one be not on the snake above it? 
And I think the answer to that question is the one must be on the snake. Why? Why couldn't this go two, eight, and then... Uh, yeah, four? that's a good question. Because all I've got left is a four. Right. So the one must be on the Ooh, snake. Ooh, that's mean. So this must and be on the snake. since it's on the edge, it drops into the 12 So this is not on the snake. Uh... It's not certain, it would be but touch it's not. That could theoretically be an eight. Oh, yeah, no, it could be. It could do this. So Either which way. It the, could go down that way one. or that way, but it must come down from the one. And then must if go it down does again. That, it must come down. And if it goes this way, I can't do this, so it must come down. So this actually is that line, so I can get rid of... Sorry, I'm, the controls on this are a little bit weird. And then if it we did this... This is this is a seven. That's now high. We, we know that is a, we know this is a seven, and it can't come this way because this would need a one and a two, and it can't have it. So it must come down again. Oh, this is nuts! So my initial deduction. This is why I failed this puzzle. I kept making wrong deductions. So and this is on snake the snake. So this is so two and three. So the snake can't come down again. So it must turn. This is the wrong mode. This is wrong tool. Um, then we know this the is not on the snake. Is the ne yeah, but that could be down. No, no. Row eight, column two. Oh, this is high. high. Oh, so this so is no, not on the snake. Right, because it would have to be low and you can't put a low digit in a 14 cage. Row 8, column 2 is just known. It's on a whisper next to a 2 and sees 7 and 9. That's 8. So there's no 8 in the 14 cage. Right. And that also that 8 also looks up into box 4. And that sets the snake. Because it must continue. It can't go up. Right. This is wrong tool. For people who haven't seen Babylon 5, even though it's, what, 40 years old now, it's still worth 30 something. I don't know. I'm old. It's 30. It's well, still worth still worth watching. Um, Still very worth watching. This is low, which makes it the one, which makes it the six. And the first box we resolve is box... Now, box seven. this can't be on the snake because it couldn't go anywhere. This could be. But the six and box four can't be. No, this is not on the snake. So this is on the snake and is high. So that's the nine, that's the four. And we know the snake does that. You see why, why I found this so beautiful? I do, Just but... Such awesome. Can, can you see awesome why logic. I also found this intractable? Oh, yeah. This is not the way my brain works. I, I am... No, these, the these snake are, logic is, is novel. It's beautiful. It's just not... It, yeah. I am not very good at these, and I am learning. And hopefully my viewers are learning as well. Our viewers today. Shall we take a, uh, shall we take a diversion into some killer logic? Uh, I'm and, much more know, comfortable with killer food. logic. So, um, what do we have? This is not 168. We're cool with that. There's no nine in this 21 cage. That's not a small diversion. <laughs> no? So there's a six and an eight up here. The six isn't in the 12 cage. So there's no six in the 11 cage. There's no eight in the 11 cage. There's no four, seven in the 11 cage. So this is just two nine. So these are now known. I would hope. Please tell me that adds to 12. Uh, that's too high. Three, four, five does. So we know what these all We've are. Got another triple. So this is one, two, three, four, five, two, seven, and nine. Mm -hmm. um, okay. A little bit of cleanup in box six. Uh, the 12 cage can't have a six in it. 12 cage... Okay. 
If this is a six, this is a three. If this is an eight, this is a one. This can't be an 20 eight. 20 cage is cool now. Okay, 20 cage is cool now. 20 cages are cool. You hear that, kids? Pencil marks in box five have a six. Row six has a six placed. Row seven has a six placed. So there's no six in this cage, is what you're trying to tell me. Just so. And it must have two of two, seven, nine. So one, four, seven, eight. And again, I am using Sven's killer calculator um, because I'm trying Such to do this quick. Tool. I'm trying to do this in a in a time frame that isn't measured in eons. One, four, seven, eight is not possible because I've only got one of those digits. Um, but apart from that, uh, three, four, five, eight is also not possible. But apart from what does that, that, leave us. One, two, eight, nine, which would make these one and eight. One, three, seven, nine, which would make these one and three. Two, three, seven, eight, which would make these three and eight. And two, four, five, nine, which would make these four, five. I can possibly do some pencil marking there. A little bit of limitation there, but it doesn't sound really fruitful to, to progress all the way through yet. If there's an eight in the cage, it can only go in one place. Here. Yeah. Oh, there is some pencil marking that's worthwhile. Where can one go in box eight? One in box eight. Ooh. One is in one of those two. Yeah. Because can't one can't in go the in the column, can't repeat in the cage, and that one also sees that cell. So one is in one of those two. Which means one two. is in one of those two. If one's in the 20 cage, it's in exactly one spot in box six. So one, two, nine, eight is possible. One, seven, nine, three is possible. Yeah. Also possible it doesn't have one at all. This 26 cage actually has some limits on it because it can't be 4, 5, Ooh. 8, 9 because there's a 5, 8 right. in the box. And it can't be 5, 6, 7, 8 for the same reason. Which means there is a 9 in this cage. Well, that's good. Padoom. That resolves the 2, 9 as well. Right below it. Um, Both of which can be on the snake. So I'm not right, marking them as possible for now. Oh, we can gray this. That's right not below where you have highlighted. That's it. not on the snake. If it's five, oh, right. it's not on the snake. And if it's high, it's not on the diagonal. That is not on the snake. Neither are the two cells right above it. Because if it came in, it couldn't get out. And then row five, column six, the same. It's not on the diagonal. Row five, column six. Oh, wow. That's huge. Hang on. Below it, the same. That can't be on the snake because that's on the high diagonal and it's either and low, it or only be low or five. That. <laughs> very, very cool. I never got this far, but this is nuts. The 10 cage in row. Do you want to know something really funny? Row three. I remember the mm -hmm. first digit I got. Oh, it might not have been the first, but one of the first digits I got when I solved this. We haven't got it yet. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like, I did a whole bunch of killer stuff and found some digits, um, and we haven't got to it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, me too. So, um, okay. So the ten cage. There's no. Five. Actually, that cage can't have a five in it. Yeah. Now I've already looked at that. We eliminated that a while ago. Uh, ten cage in row one. 
What about Port this one? This so can't be limitations. This can't be one nine four six. And so all of the high digits are used up in that column. The rest of the column is low, or the rest of the row is low. So we've Bar got cage will either be high, four, high, eight, with high, five, seven. But we still have a five left over. But this need, yeah, this right, needs. But you can't put it in a ten cage. But this is what's using the final high digit. Yeah. So the next two are low or five, lower five. Where does so this is three, go? four, or five is what you're saying. Yeah, and better question, where does two go? Hang on, is that three, four, or five? Can't be one or two. Can't be high. I think that might just actually be let's known. let's ask the question about where does two go? Two can't go in any of those. Can't put two in a twelve cage. Can't put two in a twelve cage. And put two there. And the There's nine a seven. Cage would need a seven. And I can't have it. This is a two eight, which resolves the twelve. Which means this is five and seven. And then the remaining two, we need a three, three and a four. And the three, and it's known because if you put a three in the twelve cage, it needs a nine. So this is four and eight. Uh, hang on, let me just confirm. Yep, that's all fine. And this is three, which cannot be on the snake. And six, six which cannot be on which the snake. Which cannot be on the snake. And this is three or five. Right. We still don't have the first digit that I got when I solved this. There's no six in the 15 cage. Ah. I'm actually going to unyellow those because we know that they're not. Right. But we know the remaining high digit in the column. Seven, but a high digit in six, the nine cage. That's nine and one. Which so this is two in the 20 cage. Well, how about this? It can't be three nine, and it can't be four eight. That's five seven. So there's In no known order. Well, if you're going to be that picky about it, so I this am. could be high. This is not on the snake. Hang on. Which means we know the snake starts there, and we know the four is not on the snake because seven can't connect to four. The snake has to get out, so it's doing this. The snake has to continue. Four is not on the snake, so unblue and gray it. The seven has to continue, which means that's a, two. a two. That's an eight. That's a two. This that's is beautiful. blue. This is nuts. Um, this makes this four and this two. This is a triple now, which better add up to... Is it... Uh, 17? 17 one would hope one two three six and eight three six and eight is 17 looks good Whew. these are one two three four five six one four and seven this is not one we can finish the, this is uh, not the one well. because that would need a nine four would need a six and it is at four and six which is seven and one one and one means this is not the one this is the one this is not on the snake because it's not on the correct diagonal path. And then there's a cul-de-sac, so the 10 cage can never be. This, oh, wow. Uh, let's jump to column nine for a second. The 20 cage, we've got that two nine pair with a nine looking at it. Oh, two and nine. By the way, this was the first digit I got when I solved this. That's delightful. I have no idea how. I, I don't remember, but I, I got this nine somehow. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is resolved. Five and four. This is not on the snake that because it's can on the never be. high. Five and now can there's never a cul de sac. There's a cul de sac. Or a dead end. That seven can never be. It's on the wrong hyloity. Oh, this is a fun one. 
We don't necessarily know which way it goes yet, but... It's got to go uh, through one of those. And either way, it has to touch box six. So row four, column seven must be on the snake. If it goes through box five and then goes in, into box six, it'll touch that cell. If it doesn't go through box five, it'll touch that cell. So if it, if it comes through here, it's got to touch this. Really? Then it misses box two. And box... Uh... No, it could. No, nope. it it would have to go down from the down from the one instead Hang of on. right. How do we get it through here? Well, we could go down. Oh no, we could do over... that. We could do that. But either which way, we mix miss either box two or box six. So if we come through here, we can't come back down here. If we go up. It's going to connect. It's or going touch to connect. Itself. And if we go this way, there's no way into box. We can't come through here. Wild. Okay, we know that those are great. The two. Yeah. It's possible so we, we could know... do something like that, though. So we don't know about these. Not yet. We do know. But it comes the... through here. We get three blue cells. These are blue. And it has to get out of the box somehow, so it's going to touch are one, two, one and more three. blue cell. This is blue, by the way. These are one, two, and three, and that's not one. Sorry, what was that? Uh, row four, column seven. Row four, becomes blue. column seven. Become, because it's got to get out. And now we know the eight above the three cannot be on the snake. Because if it is, we miss out on boxes two and five. So if it comes this way. Oh, because if it comes this way, off. it's immediately connected. So it has to come this way. So the snake must do this. This is weird. And this is gray. Oh, now, the two now extends. And the two extends. Now, it could come straight down or it could potentially loop two, nine, three, eight, two, or just two, eight. But this is high. And must be the eight. Uh, one catastrophe at a time. Not three, not six. So this is the eight. So there's no eight in those. But it could go... Yeah, I don't think we know which way it goes yet. It could go 39282, or it could go 3929382. Oh. All of that seems okay. I know which way. Let's resolve box six. Let's resolve box six. Well, this is a one. This is a five. Last time I checked, five's not on snakes, or at least not these ones. Yep. This is not a five. This is not a four. We got a little bit of uh, seven, eight cleanup in row five. Row five. Oh, that's not a seven. That's not an eight. I was actually looking at this triple. Sure. Seems good. One, four, we need a one in there nine. somewhere. That's the one. And the four and the nine is resolved. Nine and four. They could be... All three of those are possible. That can't be... Uh, no, that could oh, be wait, on the no, snake. the bottom can't be. No, that can't be on the snake. Uh, uh, no, right. that can't be on the snake. Because if I went here and then down... You'd have to immediately touch a nine. I'd have to immediately touch a nine, and I can't. So this is not on the snake. One below it this, is absolutely not on the snake. This is not on the snake. So we know the snake does that awesome you are teaching so these are one two three and six there's no three here there's no two there Ooh, 
Let's take a look at that 30 cage since, you know, we've looked at everything else. <laughs> it has a one. It has a six. Yep. It doesn't have a two. It doesn't have a two. Right. Two, two knocks out those and that two knocks out that one. So there's no two in this cage. So it must have a three in it. And Sudoku puts a nine in it. Yeah. Before that, it must have a three in it. Oh, yeah. Three is here. Three is here. Those are not three. Three, four, yep. five. I'll take that. Very nice. Very nice. Which places that um, four. And we got a nine. Same way. Four nines looking in. So these are now three, seven, and nine. No in order. Uh, that's not a seven. That's not a nine. That's not a nine. Seven, three, and nine. That is glorious. This, really cool. This is not on the snake because it's on the wrong diagonal. The this is not is. on the snake. But these are potentially on the snake. No, they, they're forced. They're, they're forced because if I come down, I can't get out. So these, this is a cul-de-sac. The snake goes this way, goes this way. And the next Hang on, along hang on. From let me three... do clean up. This is eight. This is seven. Oh, sure, This sure. is six. This is two. This is three. We know what this digit is, which is the five. So that is not on the snake. This is a triple, which I'm going to put in because I can do Sudoku most of the time. Please don't make comments about the fact that actually I can't, I, I'm fragile enough. This is a two, six, eight triple. So that makes this three and six. Last time I checked, I can't Fix go eight, six, nine eight on, on a... a whisper line. So that is not on the line. So this goes down and now I can't touch itself. So that has to continue going down. So I can select those. Nope. <laughs> Wrong tool. Select those cells and make them gray. And we know the completion the of the line. cell has to be high. They do that. And that's the completion of the line. This is high. And it's next to a three. So this is the eight. There's no eight in here. This six makes this two and this six. The six looks up making this eight. And we're nearly done. This is the six. And that's the yeah. seven. And it's all come together. Beautiful puzzle. Just beautiful. Oh my lord. Not easy, but absolutely gorgeous. The snake logic in this is just delightful. Yeah, DJV does puzzles. I think I've seen two or three of DJV's puzzles, and I don't think I've succeeded on any of them on my own. <laughs> They're not easy. That That is definitely for sure. But the the snake logic involved here, it's it's so clean. It's yeah. such a clean way through it. Thank you very much for for being part of this. I really do appreciate it. And it's very hard when I'm interacting with someone um, like this to to remember that I'm solving on camera for for the audience. It's it's a completely Absolutely. different vibe. Yeah, um, the. Uh... The, the memory of, ah, oh, yes, all of this is being recorded for posterity. Posterior? <laughs> One of those. One of those. Um, yeah. Lovely solve. Thanks for having me on the uh, channel, and uh, cheers. Yeah. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching, um, and hope you enjoyed this one. Um, thank you, Virtual, so much for uh, showing me how this one works, because, yeah, I, I could not get my way through this one, um, and... Uh, um, I'm hoping um, as things clean up for me that I'll be able to do stuff like this more often. So thank you again. Um, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.